Now we've got you back tonight getting answers from Frontier Cable after we have been flooded with complaints about their new service. Well, this all has to do with them taking over service in areas that used to be served by AT&T. News 8's Stephanie Simone is live in New Haven tonight to explain exactly what's going on here. Stephanie? Well, and Darren, Frontier executives, they boasted about their company today, saying that they're headquartered locally and they hire local people. But customers we spoke to say they lost recorded shows, they lost channels, and some even lost business. Four, three, two, one. Yay! All right. While executives and politicians unveil the new frontier sign, okay, what's your last? upstairs they were busy fielding customer phone calls. 99.9% .9 of the customers had a great experience probably had a little less than 1% that didn't. And we heard from the 1%. Dozens of emails flooded our inbox. Don from Shelton said nothing but headaches. Had no cable for hours. Then when it came up, many channels are now missing. Linda from Stratford said, my TVs will stop and start rebooting, freeze, and will not let us record any shows. Okay. And this Windsor Locks florist is seeing business wilt over this. We're probably going to lose $800,000 worth of business over this. You know, and as far as the orders that never got to us, uh, there's no way to know how many of those are because they get refused automatically because we're offline. General Manager Paul Quick says this is a system issue. He says they are problems that they could not anticipate. What would you want to say to those customers who are just very frustrated at this point? We, we truly apologize at Frontier for any issues that you've had over the weekend while we did the cut. We brought extra people on board today to make sure we can get those folks back in business. And when it comes to possible refunds to customers? I can't speak to that right now. I'd have to learn more about it on a case-by-case -case basis. Is that something you're exploring? That, again, have to learn more about it on a case-by-case -case basis. Well, also, coming up at 6, we also asked him about staffing over the weekend, whether or not they had enough people working to handle this conversion. Hear his answer coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, we are live in New Haven. Stephanie Simone, News 8.